Hello friends, hello, hello, and happy moment wherever you are. Thanks for joining. This is Jennifer from Personal Power Life Coaching for Wellbeing and a better attitude and mindset and relationship to life and with life. So the subject today is the biggest source or a single big factor as the cause of our unhappiness in any moment because it's always just about this one moment that you find yourself in and how you're thinking about it or what you're thinking in general in that moment and so what is the source of unhappiness it's comparison it is comparing to what is what's happening or what you see before your eyes or what you're living compared to what you think it should be or comparison to the past or comparison of one item to another item such as a person to another person or a job to a job and typically it's a current experience with that with that person or that house or that situation or whatever it is compared to your prior experience or your history or memory of what it was for you before. So basically, the unhappiness comes from you not being happy or satisfied in this moment based on your memory of the past, whatever that assumption or perception is because now you're in a different place in time so your perception is now very much different from what you were actually living now as you find yourself in those moments of unhappiness you can turn that around and begin to bring awareness presence and thus, or what some would call mindfulness into that situation or moment and just become aware of what you're thinking and knowing that, hey, I'm beginning to feel disappointment or disillusionment or frustration, anger perhaps, or just upset because I am experiencing something and labeling it in a way that is divergent from what I think it should be and what it should be is this image in my head about what it should be. And I'm comparing it. I'm comparing what is to what should be. Now, why is that, right? And are we making a fair comparison? Because this is the reality, whatever you're living in at this moment in time. So ask yourself, what am I really comparing this to? Does it make any sense? Because if you look back and you compare it to what it used to be and what was that, you bring up the memory of it. You can only see it positively, most likely, because you're not there anymore. But you may have also been complaining about some factors in that experience, maybe not in the same way, but you were not completely happy with certain things at that point in time as well. So... That will definitely be true to some extent and when you become aware of that then that immediately takes away the the potency or the power of being so upset in that one moment of the here and the now because you're basically making up a story in your imagination in your head about something that is something that seems to be reality the label that you're giving it and then based on a picture in your head and a story that you're telling because now you're telling a story of how it used to be but really it wasn't like that you're just making you're just telling you're narrating you're you're relaying the story now as if you're storytelling right you're telling a story and now you're painting that story nicer because this moment, it, you've decided this moment is not good enough and it's not good as it is, it's deficient. But maybe it goes down to the core or the root of just a, perhaps a deeper dissatisfaction with other conditions or other factors and then this is only a manifestation or a reflection 
of that deeper inner um, dissatisfaction or unrootedness. So how do we turn that around? Well, it begins with awareness and changing the focus in the sense of shifting from just being in the situation as it is and now stepping out of it by introducing your awareness, your questioning mindset, your breath, right? Just breathing in deeply and just telling yourself, this is what is right now. And this is how it's supposed to be because this is what is, this is what's happening. It is already happening, it's done, it's over, it's now, it's gone. And it's just a story that you're telling now, it's just a matter of how you choose to tell the story, how you frame it, how you contextualize it. And so as you begin to introduce this realization and awakefulness into your daily life, you will take deeper breaths and you will feel more calm and peaceful by not being trapped in the mud of that situation or the story you're telling. Because it's only a story that you're telling. You're only portraying a situation and you're making that situation, you're identifying with it as an extension of who you are. And then that's why you may feel badly about yourself or you may project the negativity inwards right it's like a projection like you're projecting the negativity first towards the outside and then you take it back in because that is the cycle that you you're creating kind of like the infinity flow but now you can break that cycle and you can flip it and you can step out of it knowing that you are the narrator and you are the creator too you're the author you're the storyteller and you're also the main character. So there you go. <laughs> and so as we enter that realization and it becomes part of our awakened state and mindfulness and consciousness, we don't take it so seriously. It isn't so dramatic. And we know that this moment is going to pass because it's only a matter of how I'm relaying the story how I'm telling the story, what kind of a storyteller are you? It's your story, it's your m moment and situation, and it's your life, if you call that life. But what is your life? It is this one moment that you're living and the story that you choose to tell about it. So that's it for now, friends. This has been our personal power, Life Coaching Insight. And I appreciate you. I thank you for joining and listening to it. And I truly hope that it brings benefit and upliftment to all of us, to all of mankind, starting with you, starting with me, by lighting the candle of your own consciousness and awakened inner being and wisdom, then that extends into our world. And the light that we shine from within is the beautiful light that we see without on the outside. So that's it for now, friends. Many blessings onwards and upwards. Things are getting better and better and everything's just falling into place. We're just fine tuning things moment to moment. And let us know that once one wish has been fulfilled, once you get what you want, it's going to open up a whole new set of contrasting experiences or things that you're unhappy with and that need to get worked on, improved, solved. And that's something that I continuously hear from one of my favorite teachers, Abraham Hicks. And it's just what we notice about life. It's an ongoing infinity spiral, onwards and upwards, moving up and up. And it's just a matter of how you're choosing to tell the story. So as you go forward in this week, remember that in all those moments of contrasting experiences and all the happy times, all the wonderful, magnificent, you're going to have so many great experiences in these days ahead. 
in this week ahead and just remind yourself, you know, gosh, like I'm telling a really fantastic story. I'm telling a really great story now. I've changed my genre and I am just creating this amazing new new life story. So create a new life story for you, for yourself. And whenever you find yourself dissatisfied, just repeat. This is how it's supposed to be. This is good. This is what is. And let's keep going. Let's move it forward. Let's just move it forward. Keep the train chugging along. That's the only way that things get moved from place to place, right? It just that little train has to keep moving. But we can drive it as the wonderful happy conductor. And we can be in harmony with that train, in harmony with the road, in harmony with the tracks and the scenery and all the beautiful things that you're seeing along the way and how you feel in that train, driving, creating the beautiful cabin for you, right? So that's it. Thanks for tuning in, friends. This has been a wonderful moment of sharing and co-creating. Lots of love to you, onwards and upwards, and may we continue to be happy, happy, and happier, happiest. Bye. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye. See you soon. Namaste.